Hi friends, have you ever counted the number of teeth in your mouth? A normal human being is supposed to have 32 teeth in his mouth. If you are above the age of 18 to 25 years and if you haven't had your teeth removed by a dentist and still if you do not have 32 teeth, there are high chances that one of your teeth is impacted and most commonly that is your wisdom tooth. What is a wisdom tooth? The wisdom tooth is scientifically called the third molar and it usually erupts at 18 to 25 years of age during which time we are supposed to gain wisdom. Therefore, these teeth are called the wisdom teeth. What is an impacted wisdom tooth? If your third molars have not erupted even after 18 to 25 years of age or have no chances of erupting, these teeth are called as impacted wisdom teeth. So the impacted wisdom teeth can be of two types. It can either be a soft tissue impaction in which your third molars are covered entirely by your gums only or it can be a hard tissue impaction in which the third molars are also covered by bone. If the impacted teeth is straight, it is called as a vertical impaction. If the impacted teeth is slanting this way, it is called as a mesioangular impaction if the impacted teeth is slanting this way, it is called as a distoangular impaction and if the teeth is sleeping like this, it is called a horizontal impaction. So depending on the type of impaction, the difficulty of it being removed varies. For example, the sleeping tooth has more difficulty and more chances of causing decay and damage to the adjacent teeth. What are the problems of impacted teeth? The third molars during normal eruption itself may cause some pain and this pain usually subsides after complete eruption. If suppose the third molar is partly covered by soft tissue which as I already mentioned is a soft, a soft tissue impaction, food may get stuck between the soft tissue and the teeth and this may cause some pain, inflammation and difficulty in opening your mouth. Suppose if the teeth is partly uncovered and the teeth is slanting towards the adjacent teeth and foot is getting stuck between the third molar and the nearby second molar there are chances of decay forming between the second molar and the third molar the decay may involve the third molar and also the second molar which is very dangerous uh, if the third molar is completely covered by soft tissue Usually there, there are no problems but sometimes a cyst may form in the third molar. So what is the treatment for an impacted tooth? If the impacted tooth is completely covered by soft tissue and the impacted tooth does not have any chance of damaging the adjacent teeth, the impacted teeth can be left untreated. Suppose if the impacted teeth is partly covered by soft tissue and food is getting stuck between the soft tissue but otherwise the impacted teeth is normally erupted you can only cut the soft tissue in a small procedure called operculectomy suppose if the impacted teeth is slanting or if food is getting stuck between the third molar and the adjacent second molar in that cases the impacted teeth has to be removed completely replacement of your wisdom teeth as the human race has evolved, the function of your wisdom teeth has been almost reduced to zero. So if you have a proper set of teeth until your second molars and there is no use of your third molar, it is not necessary to usually replace your wisdom teeth. And by removing your wisdom teeth, you only lose your teeth. You don't lose your wisdom. Thank you.